My inspiration is a Valentine's candy box that I made last year on Valentine's. Here's a preview of it. I took a Dollar Tree chocolate candy box and turned it into a DIY fridge magnet set. I will link below in the description box the tutorial if you would like to see how I made this bow candy and decorated this box. These candies stay magnetic inside the box even when they're not on the fridge. And what is going to do food type candy in this tutorial but decide to do a different route and go farmhouse style. So that's what you will be seeing. But I will be doing another one with faux candy. So today is recreation inspiration with the host Amanda from Six Kids and the Glue Gun. Co-host Brenda from Rustic and Lace and host Crafty Art Shack. Now my Easter version in farmhouse style. So I'm taking an Easter mold here that I have with some foam clay. I'm just kneading my clay and add it into my mold. And then once I'm done with this, I have a port full tutorial on how to do foam clay in your mold. You can check out underneath my videos. Now my bunny is nice and dry, both of them. And mm -hmm. here we're starting my tutorial. I have this Easter basket I bought last year at Dollar Tree, but I saw they have them this year too. And I have antique white and light mocha paint that I will be using on this little wood bunny cutout that I found in my stash that, geez, I don't even know where I got it. But I'm sure you can get them anywhere. So I'm going to just give it a quick coat of the antique white. Making sure I get all the little edges and spots so my bunny's completely covered. I'm going to take my heat gun, quickly dry it so I can finish them up. Now I'm going to finish painting the little ear. I'm going to give him another coat. Because you can still see through it. <clears throat> I wanted to take a moment here and say hello. My name is Donna of Donna Creations and More. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing and joining my crafty YouTube family. If you're one of my subscribers, 
Hello and welcome back. Glad to have you watching my video. And thank you so much. I appreciate you all. More than you ever would know. Because of you, all this is possible. And I love sharing what I love to do. If you can, remember to hit the like button. It really helps me out on YouTube. And helps YouTube know what type of videos you like to watch. So if you like farmhouse style, like this video is, it will give you more farmhouse style videos when you log on again. Plus it helps my YouTube, my video get out there further in YouTube. Here I'm just taking a light mocha color and shading it in. Give my wooden bunny some detail. I also would like to say, if you get a chance, please check out the playlist link below in my description box of all the creative women of what they came up with for the re for this recreation collaboration. So, sit back, grab a drink, hit that play button, and watch the full playlist. I would really appreciate it. So here I'm just trying to give the little paw some detail on my wooden bunny. Give it some dimension. And I'm only using the two colors of light mocha and an antique white by Apple Barrel. I didn't fast forward this video that way everybody can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing my detail and mixing my paint colors and if you want to fast forward you can fast forward yourself to the next step now I did decide to add a face on this bunny but I didn't care for it and I ended up removing it. So I did my shading first my little paw pad, then I just took the end of my brush as you saw and dyed them on. So here I am trying to fix the face because I didn't like the smile. That's why I just got rid of the face at the later on you'll see it. That's one thing I have to practice on doing faces. I 
and that's my dog again. I'm so sorry. See, the face just looks funny. It has to go. <laughs> so here I have this leftover ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take a piece of that, put it on its collar. My husband must be dreaming. And then I have this little twine bow I made. And I have this package of scrapbook paper fasteners. In these colors. And I'm going to take a brown one. To use for like a little button on my bow. No, I didn't take a brown one. I'm sorry. I took a beige one. And I'm going to take my basket and take it all apart. I'll save it all. Never know. I might use it for another DIY. So underneath this is just a plastic form. And if you are new here, Check out my videos. See if you like it. I do a lot of DIYs for home, home decor, upcycling, recycling, clam, bake bakes, and so much more. Anything crafty. And this year I will be getting into jewelry and resin once the holidays slow down. So here I have this bag that I got from the Dollar General last year on clearance for 10 cents. It's burlap bag, so I'm going to cut a piece of this bag off and use it to wrap my Easter basket. Now I'm cutting along the hem so I have a nice detailed hem along my basket. And I'm cutting it down the side, the bottom here, make sure I have enough to wrap the whole basket. And I'm only going to use one part of the hem. And then I'll save this basket for my next Easter DIY. Or just bag, I'm sorry.
So I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and glue it along the edge, making sure it overlaps a little on the top. So you don't see that plastic. Then I'm gonna cut a slit in this so the handle will go through. And then hot glue that in place. Make sure it's really secure. And then put continue adding my fabric along the edge. See how I'm making sure it goes over the edge with that hem. So you can't see the top of the basket. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Cut a slit so it'll fit in there. And hot glue it around. Now, if you notice, the basket is wider up top then is the bottom so here I'm just taking the extra fabric and cutting it off I'm just gonna hot glue it not too concerned what the bags gonna look like but we're not gonna see it because we're making this into fridge decor But you don't have to make it in the fridge decor. You can add it to your tree or tray or whatever. But this is my version of a nice little magnet set for your fridge. Why not decorate your fridge too? It's the centerpiece of your kitchen. It's what everybody sees. So I'm just letting the hot glue set up. Sorry, I'm out of frame here. Just hot glue on the bottom down. Now the bottom of the basket is open, so I'm making sure it's closed. And just trimming off the excess. I'm just going to hot glue that in place. Make sure it's fully secure. And cut off whatever strings are hanging. Here's what my little basket is looking like so far. Now I don't like you can see the inside. So I'm going to cut another piece of fabric. Now my other dog's dreaming. Boy oh boy. I apologize everybody. Draco. Wake up. You're dreaming. So I made sure I got a piece with the hem. Drake! And I'm just gonna hot glue that down on the corner first and tuck it in. Oh boy, he still didn't wake up. Draco! Wake up! I do apologize. Doggy dreams. So now my basket is filled in. And then I have this same ribbon left over from my bunny. 
which I used in another farmhouse DIY. I need to get another roll of this ribbon when I go back to the dollar store because it's my last little bit. I really like this ribbon. So I decided to just hot glue it and then I'm just going to wrap it around the whole entire handle. And as I go along, a couple spots here and there, I'll just add a dab of hot glue. I'm just going to finish it off here, cut it, make sure it's secured with a little bit more glue, and here's what my little basket is looking like so far. It's okay, but I have a lot more ways to go. Here I have this other burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree that I really like. So I'm going to add that around the center. Then I decided to take the same ribbon that I just used on the handle and I'm going to wrap it around the top. Give a nice finished look. But I didn't go around the whole back because one, I'm not going to see it. Two, I have to save my ribbon. Because I want to be able to do the bottom of the basket too. So I'm going to do that just like this. I glue that in place. Give this basket some more detail. I think it's turning out looking good so far. Now I'm going to take that piece of ribbon that I cut and I'm going to glue it right in the center. Now remember the basket goes smaller, so in order to tighten it, it's going to angle upward in the back, but that's okay, because we're not going to see the back. It will be really cute for like a little tear tray to sit on, because it will stand up, because it's the Easter basket. Now I have this little ribbon bow that I cut off a thing of ribbon to some... A, thing of ribbon of bows. I just cut one bow off. And I'm deciding where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to hot glue it right there. And I have another one of these paper fasteners. This time I do have the brown one. And I'm going to hot glue that right in the center of the bow. I did have this left over tassel from my last DIY for farmhouse, but I didn't care for the way it looked. Plus, it was too long, and I didn't want to destroy it. I can save it for another DIY. So, we are going to make one. So, I have the black and gingham ribbon. And I'm just going to cut it down the center. Make it into two pieces. Here I had no clue which route I was going. Then I decided to see my finger going up. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm going to make my own tassel. So I'm just going to wrap my twine around my finger.
cut it off, loop my string through my twine that I have there. So I have a hanger. And I'm going to add, here I am wrapping it, forgetting to add my ribbon. I'll undo it. <laughs> and then I'm going to fold my ribbon over. I'm just adding it in. Then I'm going to wrap my twine around the top. Cut it off. I glue it. Cut the bottom of the strings. Make sure they're all even. I'll take my little tassel, tie it onto my basket. Which every time I messed with it, twine did not stay knotted. I had to hot glue it. Look, number two comes up twice. Took me three tries. That's when I said, okay, hot glue. So I like the way that tassel is, but I want to glue it into place. So I'm just going to tuck it right there where the basket handle meets the basket. Now I decide to take more of this ribbon, cut it in half again. I really love how this DIY turned out and all the pieces I made with it. I am definitely putting this on my fridge for Easter. So there's my little basket and my bunny so far. And see, I don't like the face. <laughs> So I took some paint and bye bye face. Just give it a quick dry, another coat. Dry it again. Now I just found at the Dollar Tree these plastic Easter eggs on the garland. And then I also have these wooden Easter eggs. So I'm going to take three of these plastic Easter eggs and I'm going to cut them in half. And then here's my little Easter bunnies that I made with my clay. I wasn't sure if I was going to use them or not, but decided to at the end. And I apologize that it was not recording. So 
So I'm just adding some hot glue to my plastic, my wooden egg, and then going on my half of my plastic eggs. Oh, I think, um, if I remember correctly, in this video, you do see me painting these bunnies. But, you don't see me adding the magnets on the other pieces that I made. That's the only part I didn't record, but that's okay. So I decided I went more than just three. I'm gonna do all six eggs. That way I have many magnets to fill my basket. And you'll see the way I have it done. Not only do I have them in the basket at the final reel, but I also have them on my cabinet where I took my final reel video at. So I got my six eggs done. Now I'm gonna take some, I have some magnets here. Two different sizes. And I'm gonna glue some big magnets on the back. was trying to cheat and lay the paper on, but it wouldn't stick, so you have to take the paper off. I did happen to add two more magnets to it. It actually has a lot of weight. So I added four magnets to it, and then I'm adding one to my bunny. I'm adding one to my carrot. Then I'm adding them to my Easter eggs. Actually, I didn't add one to that carrot yet. Because I need to use the smaller ones. The smaller ones I got at the dollar store. These bigger ones I think I got at Walmart. But you can just use the dollar store ones. Believe it or not, it seems like the dollar store ones were stronger. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've seen the video, just give me a little bunny emoji or comment below. If you like this tutorial, please consider subscribing. I'm still working on building my channel to 1K. Here I was debating if I'm going to use these little foam bunnies. And that's how I had to go with him. You'll see in the final reveal how it turned out. It looks super adorable, the whole set. Here I just dyed the eyes black. I was just going to lean in plain white. But if you watch my videos, you know me, I change my mind a lot. So 
So here I'm grabbing some peat moss to fill in my basket. I have my little wooden bunny in. I'm trying to figure out how I want to design this. Add my little carrots. Some more of my eggs. Oh, I did add the magnets on the back of my carrot. I'm sorry. I really wanted to use these little white bennies in the basket, but it looks better without the basket. And you will see. So then I decided I wanted to paint these bunnies with the antique white. Then I have these little wooden carrots that I painted, and I'm just going to add them to my bunny. Just trying to figure out where, how I want them. Sorry, when I zoomed out zoomed in I cut that part out And there I have the dollar store magnets. I decided to I'm gluing them on. And then I get a brown marker and I'm dotting in my eyes. Then I decide to give my carrot some detail. To make it look more realistic. So I'm just adding some lines on where the carrot lines will be and on top of the carrot. And then I decided to do the same thing on the twine carriage from Dollar Tree. This is just a very old felt marker, nothing special. And 
now I have the same three carrots and I'm going to bundle them together. And this is the part about that I forgot to record at the end when I hot glued the um, magnets on. But that's okay because you don't need to see me go on magnets on them. I did use these in another video for a tear tray decoration. Super cute and adorable. Then I took these same wood nails and some pink yarn from Dollar Tree and just wrapped one egg. If you want to know how to make that Easter garland, it's in another tutorial on my other farmhouse video. Now I'm going to take this white Chanel, I think it's Chanel type yarn from Dollar Tree and wrap this egg up. The thicker the yarn, the quicker it goes, as you say. So this one was super easy. And then I'm going to do one in twine. You can make as many as you like. Or you can make all yours this way. But I wanted the variety. And I think it turned out really nice. At the end at the final reveal. Now here is the final reveal. I think it turned out, all of it turned out super adorable. Cute little fridge magnet set and all of it's magnetic. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned. Hit that bell for some more videos. Thank you for watching. God bless. And have a wonderful weekend. Here you can see the detail more.